In the next several videos, we're going to look at the process of finalizing your animation so that it can be exported at the end of the day to whatever you need it to be. It be it a website or a mobile site or an ad or an app or a digital book of some kind. One of the unfortunate realities if you're exporting to the web is that not everyone is using a modern browser. Some people can't see any of this at all. And I'm thinking in particular of older versions of Internet Explorer are going to have significant issues. For those browsers, you can create what's called a down-level stage, which is to be shown in down-level browsers. To do that, you start by scrubbing through the movie until you find a poster frame representing a still image that you'd be happy for those viewers to see if they're not going to see any animation at all. For me, I'm happy with that particular frame, and I'm going to press this button just below the down-level stage controls to capture a poster image. I can choose to capture a new poster image at the current playhead location, which is generally what I want to do. And if I've now gone back and edited the movie, I could change that at a later date. What I want to do, though, is now edit the down-level stage. Edge Animate realizes that after you've taken a picture, that's probably what you want to do. So I could press this button here or this button here, and it's the same thing. The down level stage then is effectively a still image with no timeline and you have the easy ability to insert a poster image. Clicking on the image will take the user somewhere and you can type the URL here as well as changing the link target. Though it is possible to use the text tool to add text here and it's also possible to bring in an image, perhaps one from the library in case you need to explain something else to the user, Normally, the poster image you've snapped will probably be sufficient. However you choose to keep your users informed, do use a down-level stage if you're going to target the web. It's also worth having a quick look at this overflow property and make sure it hasn't changed, because if you're exporting to a particular size, you'll want to make sure that things which are off-screen are hidden. Otherwise, when you play the movie, people might see these extra items outside the area. So Overflow Hidden will stop that happening if you're going for the fixed size output. Let's see what else you need to do to prepare your animation for viewing on the web.